So it's a Friday evening. Most of you will be putting your feet up after a hard week at work. But imagine if you had a day off after just four days at work. Well, in the Gambia, public sector workers have been told they're doing just that. Their president wants them to dedicate more time to prayer and social activities. But could that possibly work here? Well, joining me now is the former Apprentice star, Katie Hopkins, and Rolly White, who's the founder of Ginger Guru and the author of How to Survive the Urban Jungle. Welcome both. Uh, Katie, let's start with you. It sounds like a good idea, doesn't it, four-day week? No, not at all. I think we have to be much more realistic about the sort of economy we're facing. And as a small business owner and as an employer myself, the last thing I would want is my employees sailing out of the door on a Thursday evening. We have to respect the fact that this is very much a five plus uh, working week we work now. It's all about merging work-life balance. And it's all about really saying, look, I'm available to you, customer. I'm available to you, client, whenever you need me, and I'll respond to what you need. What do you make of that, Rod? Yeah, I think we need to balance that a bit and, and say, because if we're always available, then it's just going to be more and more work. And, uh, you know, it is getting, like, the pace of life is getting faster and faster. So we need to take a few measures to counteract that. Um, I think in some industries, perhaps like law, uh, where it's getting, uh, you know, the pace is sometimes too much. Um, I know a couple of lawyers that have gone to four-day weeks, and I think that's, that's really helpful. Because the problem is, Katie, people get burnt out, don't they? And would you not rather your employees arriving on Monday morning refreshed and ready to go because they've had a decent time, piece of time off? Well, I really think, you know, a weekend is quite an extensive period of time off as Two it days. is. Two days. Yeah, that's ample out of, you know, another five that you're going to work. I, I also really think in a labour market that's running at such a surplus at the moment, if you don't want to work a five-day week for me, and that's probably 7 a.m. till 7 p.m., in my industry, then certainly I can find someone else who really is. I suppose even in the Gambia, the president's saying you're going to have to work longer days. So is, is that a better combination, do you think, Rolly? Working longer days, but having four days at it work, or it, stretching it over five? Yeah, I think to do a 10-hour day rather than an eight-hour day on the other four days can be great. Um, I think there's, there's been a study in America, a company called 37 Signals, they did uh, a study whereby they do six months, uh, four days a week, six months, five days a week, and they actually found in that particular company they were more productive doing four days. See? I, I don't buy that at all. There's been many studies done, and it depends who you, whose side you're on, I really think, and which study you read. But certainly there were very many promises made about, oh, electricity savings you can make if you do a four-day week, and productivity that will go up. And, and that's really been demonstrated not to be achievable. And certainly if you run a public sector, only on a four-day week, how can any of the private sector then relate with your company? How can any of the private sector use the skills that you have on offer? I think we have to recognise this is a hard economy and we need to work hard as a result. It's a good point, isn't it, Rolly? Because people might, might not be able to get a hold of you and then your business does suffer, doesn't it? Yeah, I think you can do shifts, so the different people will do the different days. But, um, yeah, I, th I think public sector would be a tough one to... To, to do it with, but it's not, not out of the question. So how do you incentivise your workers? It's not all stick and no carrot. Come on, what, how, what do you do to be nice to them? Of course paying not. Them? Of course <laughs> not. It's not about all stick. Absolutely not. It's about saying, look, over the next three months, these are the priorities that we have as a business. If we achieve this, then sure, we'll take a, a team night out. We'll have a team takeaway. We'll do a, a take team away. teller in a jar. That's it. That's all you need, because if your team really wants to work for your business, if your team are really excited about the jobs they've got and recognise they've got a real opportunity to go further, do better, and that's all you need to incentivise the really people you work with. And Rolly, top tips. I mean, if you work for Katie, you'd <laughs> love it, Rolly. You'd <laughs> we love do? it. Well, Come join. I think I'd need to look after myself and, and really put my case forward to say, hey, Katie, I need, I need a day here and there. And, you know, it might not be right for everyone, but now and then to, to have... You'd have us all week. working seven days, right? I'd have you working seven days. And, and as much <laughs> as I love Rolly, I, I don't think he's the man for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, leave it there, Katie and Rolly. Thank you very thank much. You. Hope you enjoy your weekend. You. Of course, you're well, not working, are you? Because you never I relax. am back on Sunday, better time, <laughs> ready for Monday morning. Goodness me.